the magpies and Saint Uda. After she was cured of blindness, her father hoped to marry her off, but she was having nothing of it. So we trailed her with a laugh into the woods. She'd set up camp in the craziest places, not noticing where bears had sharpened claws on trunks. So we'd scold her from the branches, swoop with clacking bills to drive her on. We were pied and vexatious, herding her mercilessly, until she found the one place perfect for a hermitage. Of course, her father came after her, trampling the fritillaries, so we flashed our iridescence, chacked and rattled, whooshed around his lug holes, and when he batted us off, whacked him hard across the noggin with our bills. These days, we often fend off suitors on her account, and she repays us by sharing all her victuals. Oda, protector of natty, handsome magpies, evading lovelorn fools, amid the nettles.